Tell me, Victoria, you're, you're currently based between um, the States and Ireland. Um, are there major differences between, well, I suppose, living between the two and making films in America or Yeah, there home? is actually a difference. Um, from my own experience, what I can talk about is that here it's a smaller pond and that is a plus and it's also a minus. Um, in LA, it's a huge pond, it's a plus and it's also a minus. Um, here in Ireland, personally, it's, uh, it's, a very, it's a very intimate community and everybody tends to know everybody. Um, and I think we're great storytellers here. I mean, I really, we're very talented here. And also our quality of our work, our production value is very high. And we seem to be able to wrangle deals better here and, you know, beg, borrow, steal as much as you can. In LA, it's a bit harder to do that. I mean, it's very much business. Yeah, and yeah. Um, then in New York, it would be different. I think it would be vice versa. Like there's a whole, it's probably a bit more art house, a bit more alternative. Whereas in LA, if you're having meetings, it's very much about figures and stars right, and all that. Right. And uh, it's kind of interesting. Actually, it's probably um, made me realize what kind of filmmaker I am. Hashimonish Kinte. Kayoras Arahamanish. A new old. How will I do? Oh, Irias and you, Neil Shin. Roshin. <laughs> No way. Co gordigus. Tussa a ru. Ni eertak she. Karachi misha. Nik se to me. Kert foam, sa. Tamisha foil joch. Ni higim. Fanomet. Roshin. Nur ur tussa ga gap and thu. Nach le daddy e fu. Doch mama o goni, gertusse an poshtje siri. Agus keerd, an chijelle devar egnu an e. Het harat, brenartein, ni mailach to. Keer sa hanik si, sin a jerak si goni. Is fair gut, doch si sin a diep. Is am keer fu tasha a kind. Oh toset. Will is agis she. Kim for her og, Charles e Shin. Kush kim her og, David, August Jonathan. Kim rod river, screw all tossa, not a gun to she bank you. Spear on me. Feel she going to clean them all y'all are, and you going. Yes. Have we my midnight cookie, eh, Charles? Oh, oh, I got some fair bock in a 
die of basic. Put them off him. A rock yuck. Well, well. I'll just trust you. A femur fat a yadda. No, Papa, Papa, we all have to. Well, shit, my very fast, I'm ready. Don't me. Folded. Ha shisha emu asangli for freshen. No be imni earth juicy. Sokro she shahu. Dermid nach artsa avi unlocht. Il faki a convert on niche sis. Roshin, spawn them on Ucht. Tershin, Shaw, Quimmer, the Logan title. I suppose moving on now to your most recent short film, um, Sandboy, um, quite emotionally driven, um, quite a touching movie. Mm. Um, just can you talk to us about the background of that film? <sighs> Sandboy. So mm. I'd let this deep sigh <laughs> 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 because every time I watch that film, I get very emotionally entangled in it. Although this time I watched it and I felt it was a release this time, actually. Um, the story is really about um, dealing with loss. Um, and the hope of new beginnings. And that story is inspired by um, losing a very good friend of mine in a car accident that I held myself indirectly responsible for. I was the last person to see him alive. I, uh, you know, he got into a car drunk and I thought, you know, what I could have done to stop him from doing that. And you create all these scenarios and then you know, you have his family asking you a hundred questions, every detail about that night, what happened, you know, why did he get in the car, why, what happened, what happened, what happened, and I, I, to deal with the pain and the loss, I would lock myself in my apartment and just create 
mayhem. I would just take pots and pans and create figures and alternative worlds in my apartment. It was very strange and I became a bit agoraphobic. And, okay. um, and this went on for about a week actually. And, uh, and friends of mine came out and they just took me out of that rut and said, you know, cop on to yourself. Yeah. So, and one day I just started writing about this woman in this desert, in this purgatorial land. And, and as I was writing about it and what happened, and she's with a child and her husband, they're driving this camper van, I saw it very visually. And, and as I kept writing, I realized, oh my God, this is about Michele. And so I created these fictional characters, a fictional location, fictional story. And I, I made Samboy and it was, it was a really beautiful experience. And especially, you know, um, other people I've known who've lost people and in very tragic ways. And you came to the screening and they were like very moved and it was cathartic. And I found it very cathartic. And do you see yourself um, staying in, in the States long term or do you think, I you know, know, you'd like to come back to Ireland and oh, maybe yeah, pursue, Ireland, you know? Of course, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I come back every now and then, of course. But uh, yeah. I suppose um, the world is my canvas, you know, and wherever the muse takes me, you know, I don't, uh, um, I'm an Irish filmmaker, obviously, but I don't know if I distinctly make Irish stories. I just want to make universal stories that 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 speaks to everybody. Um, and the palette of life is so rich, and the spice of life is incredible. So um, I like the idea of just spreading out and seeing whatever strikes, you know. Yeah.